today. I'm so excited to see you all. I'm so excited to tell you about lots of lovely things. Welcome to the launch of Craft Academy 2. So, so exciting. I've been walking around on cloud nine all day today. Super excited to show you what we've got in Craft Academy take two. So you will all know from Craft Academy 1 how well it went, what we did, how we looked after each other, sticked together through a difficult time and again we're in that difficult time again so we're going to go for Craft Academy 2. Um, some of you have already had a sneak peek at some of the fabulous things that are in the launch. I am going to go through them this afternoon and I do hope there is something for everyone. I want nobody to miss out. I want everybody to be inspired and I want us all to connect together as one big family. So before I get into anything else, here is a little bit of inspiration showing you some of the samples that we have from our lovely Craft Academy range. Welcome back to the studio. For those of you that don't know who I am and may be tuning in for the first time, my name is Tony Darrock and I'm a guest presenter on Create and Craft and this is a lovely place to come for some inspiration. It's a little bit different in the sense today that we are doing our Craft Academy range but as always we are live in studio most days with some inspiration in some way or another with the lovely products that we bring to you here from Stamps by Me. If you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to click the subscribe button. There's also a little HD button there as well, which gives you a better viewing experience. And don't forget to click that bell. Then every time we're live or every time we launch a quick pick video, which is a sped up version of a live studio, you can get even more inspiration. So welcome to the studio. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Bernadette. Phil, May, Denise, and there's lots of you on, Lindsay, Sue, it's lovely to see you all. I do believe we've got quite a few new names today as well, which is incredible. Hi Claire, uh, which is incredible, and that's fabulous because I know a lot of you have been talking about Craft Academy and how much it helped you last time in the 12 week lockdown. So we're hoping that this time we're going to do exactly the same but this time it's a little bit different in the sense we have stamps and stencils and then a whole host of variation of prices as well. So hopefully there is something for everyone. Now you will have probably seen from our website that if you go and have a look at the Craft Academy range, we have popped in there um, the complete collection. So if you want to buy them all, you can. Now that's not me saying, please buy them all. You have to have them all. That is not the case. We had a couple of emails from people who bought every single stamp from our last craft academy and said would we put them together again so they only have the one postage cost so that is what we've done so if you did ask that question yes we have done it you can buy the whole um, craft academy range take two um, and a saving of about 30 pounds on there should you want it all however if you want to buy them as individuals you can do that too there are whole price points on there hopefully for everybody's budget as well and we've launched them all at the same time the feedback from last time was, I bought them and I bought them every week and the 2 99 postage every week, it's just like it adds up and it does and we totally agree with you. So we're going to launch them all, you can go on, cherry pick if you want to, pick the ones you know you're definitely going to use and then as the Craft Academy weeks go on you can pick uh, furthermore if you want to or you can sit back at home relax and know you've got your products ready to go for when we are live in studio. I hope that's okay. So it has been a manic morning. 
as you can see I've got some lovely lovely samples I hope there's something around here that you actually like um, there are some incredible samples from our lovely design team so thank you so much design team they really pulled out the stops for me this time they got the products really late and you know they turned them around in a few days and I'm not kidding I have a whole host of samples to show you here look including all of the ones on set so shall we show you what's in the show so as always though you do not have to have our products to be involved in craft academy not at all it's more about the inspiration if you like our products you can go buy them brilliant if you don't um you know if you can't afford them or things like that please don't worry about it you will have something in your stash that is going to work equally as beautiful from maybe another brand or one of our earlier collections you know the encouragement is just staying together for these next however many weeks getting through what we need to get through and then hopefully when we come out the other end shining we can have a little craft party of some form so that's that's the hope in it anyway and as i've always said we need to stay together so stay connected if it's a message on facebook to one of your friends just saying i'm just checking in how are you or if you've got absolutely nobody you can always message us or message somebody you know we will um connect with you in some way even if it's just a chat saying how are you doing you know we just need to stay together so what we're going to do is we're going to run through the lovely products here and because of the day, date and time today, we're going to do a lamination pop it. I know you all loved our lamination, so I'm going to do a quick um, demo using the fabulous poppies from our earlier, early, earlier designs. So let's have a look. Oh, you are very welcome, guys. Uh, let's have a look. Is the 499 wedding really a stamp? Or is it a stencil? It's a stamp, sweetheart. I'm going to show you now. There's a variation of sizes as well, so you'll be able to get a feel. Um, what we've done is we've reduced some sizes. We've made some sizes bigger. So hopefully there will be something in the collection that's going to suit you. And as you can see, it's quite an eclectic mix. We haven't stuck with the typical Stamps By Me designs. I want to reach out to everybody, and I want to get everybody involved. So you will see some very clean, classic designs. You will see some quite grungy designs, but you will also see a traditional silver so something for everyone fingers crossed hopefully so thank you so much if you are tuning in we will be posting samples pretty much every day of all the samples made from our design team as well so you will be able to get the inspiration in some way or another we've also got our downloads on our website as well free downloads all you need to do is go to our website click the download button and there is a whole host of step-by-step -step downloads in there for you too so if you're not maybe a visual learner you're not interested in listening to my voice and you just want to do the step by steps i.e one two three it's all there for you and there are pictures along the way so let's have a look so lindsay's saying other pictures to sorry other ladies to scale of the staircase oh wouldn't it be um great if there were of course they are of course they are lindsay come on lindsay <laughs> Right, so yeah, such a good selection. Thank you so much for your kind feedback. Honestly, it, does it matter if you buy a stamp? It helps. If you don't, does it matter? No, it doesn't, okay? Just come and join us in studio. That's what it's about. We had so much fun, fun in last Craft Academy. I just want to repeat that process. It helped me immensely, and I know it helped you guys immensely as well. So let's do it again together. And if we can craft along together and get through it, and hopefully next year we're going to be able to, you know, celebrate in style. Okay, so first of all, let's show you what's in the show. Now, I'm not encouraging you to buy them all because you're probably never going to use them all because they're one scale to the other. However, if you are a crafter that likes to put your fingers and your toes in all of the craft areas and try new things and stretch your boundaries, then you can do that if you want to. But you can pick, you can pick what you like. So let's show you first of all. So I'm going to stand them up here. I'm going to show you, let's show you the stamp. So I'll show you the stamp front and then I'll show you the design in the back so you can see the size, okay? And the size is obviously in the cost. But again, there are no super, super small ones. The smallest one is a lady and gent and she, the lady in the gown. But again, it's still not small by any means. So let's show you what we've got going on here. So we have this one. Now you're probably thinking, oh, that looks a little bit liney. This is brilliant for your gouache and your more solid coloured paints because the lines are there. Incredible for black cards. So I'm going to go through them. I'm not going to spend ages on them. Um, and I'll tell you what we're going to be, what's going to be our first project on Monday. So if you do want to get involved and do like the stamps and you can get them and know you're going to have them in time for Monday's show. So we have this beautiful one. 
which is a super huge one. There we go, look at that. Big open spaces for your watercolours and your lovely pens and pencils and things like that. So I'll just set that one aside. The next one is admire the view. You know I love a good window or a good path or a good scene. That's just me and that's my style and that's my design. But uh, you know, we're all different. So it is maybe for you, maybe not, but it's a beautiful, beautiful design. Watercolour washes around this one are gonna look incredible. You can't really see this one on, there we go. Can't really see this one, it looks quite heavy, but I'll show you some samples so you get a true, true picture of what it's gonna be like. And then we have a dress to in press three mannequin style ones so quite easy to fussy cut too um, so you'll be able to do a variation of things you saw from the video the lovely lovely designs there from the design team and then when you turn it over just make sure it's the right way there we go you get the lovely three mannequins on there so you can color them up fashion make them like fashion gowns or make them more mixed media or even vintage Carl is probably going to love this one Carl is probably screaming at the tv now going I need that one so that's that one and then the next one is another woodland walk. But if you remember from last Craft Academy, we did them all landscape. This one is portrait. So it's perfect for your five by seven tent fold cards. It's upright standing. The design team have loved this one. This has come across as a gr brilliant Christmas card. So if you do like them as Christmas cards, there we go. So you remember the techniques we used in the last Craft Academy where we used our clear embossing powder to cover the design you know, capture it under that embossing powder and then put the colour around. This one's going to be brilliant for this one. This is my second favourite. I know we're all going to have our favourites. <laughs> Somebody's watching from Abu Dhabi. Hello, Gemma. Is it warm in Abu Dhabi at the moment? <laughs> so here we have Raspberry Bouquet. Don't sing the song. <laughs> so again, large open space. It's got some lovely raspberries in this one. Can we see that there? So you can see this is going to make a beautiful panel, the edge of a card, fussy cut down one side, colours and things like that. But as the weeks go on, you're going to be able to get the inspiration here in studio. And each week I will show you which stamp is coming up next, so if you do want to get involved. Um, but as always, the designs are always going to be there. So if maybe you watch after the show and you think, you know, I really didn't like that stamp to start with, but now that I've been inspired, you'll be able to go get them after. You don't have to buy them pre-show. They're always going to be there. The videos are always going to be there as well. So then we have Best Friends, which is something totally different. But again, quite big stamps. But as you can see, mix them up. You know, Best Friends, who's got a best friend who's far, far away at the moment? What an incredible stamp for somebody who's maybe missing somebody, missing you. Put you together, you know, lay them one in front of the other. Then we have special day, which is really, really different again, as you can see. So we have that lovely, lovely design in her skirt there, which is coordinating with some of the stencils. So you can see there how beautiful, can't wait to hug you, what a beautiful sentiment. And then when we turn the design round here, now this one is the cheapest one. Uh, this one is 4 99 and it's A6. So it's half the price of a traditional A6 stamp set. What are they normally? £10, 8 pounds 8 99 This is 4 99 So if you're thinking, do you know what? I do want to get involved, um, but I'm not sure where to start. This might be a great starting point. It's affordable. Your postage is 2 99 And you'll be able to try them, see if you like them, see if you love us as a brand, Stamps by Me, and then you'll be able to join our lovely journey. And then we have ball gowns. We always love a good ball gown. You did say, is there any more ball gowns coming? Well, here you go very spanish this one there is a beautiful card somewhere and i will show you that one so this is a big one so again in keeping with our staircase from craft academy 2 so you can see the lovely layers in there stamp them onto your um, patterned papers do them in your embossing powders do them with your watercolors and things like that absolutely gorgeous you know stamp onto pattern paper cut away the dress put the dress on top of a body and you've got a stamped image and then a patterned gown love that one then we have this one cute so we have the lovely kitten in the welly bobs and then we have the traditional daisies with the little frame so if you want to stamp a sentiment in that frame you can do that too lots of open spaces why not why not practice your coloring on the wellingtons there we go look on some of our earlier designs so you don't have to use the same design all the time mix them up with products from ours other brands you know there are some fabulous other brands. I don't just have my own brands. I use other people's products too. I just love crafting. 
So there we go, that's all lovely. And you can see from the lovely green Wellingtons there how quick and easy you can make a card. And then lastly, we had to have some silhouettes, didn't we? So we've got this beautiful corner design here, silhouette, and then we have the berries hanging if you want to. And again, super huge design on there. Look at that corner, absolutely incredible. So you can see there the lady from the ballerina set just creeping through that lovely silhouette design. So they're the lovely stamps. So there are 10 stamps, okay? 10 stamps and there are also 10 stencils. So I'm going to show you the lovely, lovely stencils this time. So this is different for us. And again, great price point. These are seven by seven stencils. So good size, guys, good size. I'm just going to have a drink of my coffee because <laughs> it's been one of those days and I'm really, really thirsty. If you can tell by the hair, walking the dog, running in, you know, catching a, a, a piece of fruit on my way in. <laughs> but we're super excited about it. As you all know, I've been so excited to tell you all about this. Well, one quick thing I do need to tell you about though, guys, is before you go and buy, if you're gonna buy, we are live on Create and Craft myself with a launch on Sunday. Now, it was meant to be Tuesday, they're doing another pre-launch, not sure why, but Sunday we have a pre-launch for a new um, launch. And I will tell you that the invisible ink papers are in that show. So if you have a budget, um, and you're thinking, do you know what, I've got £10 to spend or £20 to spend. Um, just bear in mind I'm live and if you have been waiting for the invisible ink paper pads, you know, you might not be able to spend on these. I just thought I'd let you know that because I appreciate people have got budgets and, you know, if you spend all your money on here and then I say, hey, on Sunday I'm live with new products. So just bear that in mind. I'll probably do a Facebook Live Thursday or Friday on those. So... Let's show you the fabulous stencils. So let's just move the stamps out of the way. Super excited. These are actually my stamps and my stencils. So I'm super excited to get tucked in. So first of all, let's have a look at this one. So again, a very, very eclectic mix. So across the board. So yep, spiderweb, Halloween. Yep, it's a given, isn't it? But what about maybe a Christmas card with a spiderweb over a door or something? You know, spiderweb stencil, seven by seven. So let's, oh, I can show you on the back what it looks like there we go so you can see what design comes through when you pop that ink through but don't forget your you know positive and negative stamping when we'll, we'll do all this over the course of the next few weeks and we will just have some fun and just enjoy them so that's spider web then we have abc stencil so two panels here so i wanted to do something a little bit different than just a square or a rectangle so what this is going to allow you to do is when you mask them off you're going to end up with a panel down the side of your card and not a square because sometimes it is difficult to mask off isn't it do you see this design here though this is what's going to elongate the gown of the lady on that ball gown so this is going to put the flourishes in her skirt and this is going to be one of our first demos on monday at three o'clock so if you are wondering what is in the studio on monday let me just grab i'll just show you the two products that are in studio on monday so if you're thinking I would really like to get involved on that Monday, these are the two that I'm using. So I have the gown and I have the ABC stencil. So this is Monday, okay? So we're going to be using this lovely design here to elongate the lovely gown on that lady, okay? So they're the ones for Monday, just so you know. Should have told you that to start with, shouldn't I? So we have that one. I love stencils. Isn't it strange how people love stencils? So then we have this one here, and this one is called Swirl Stencil. So put very, it looks like sea, it looks like the ocean. But again, pop it behind the two girls in the show. Pop it behind quite uplifting ones. You're going to have a really quirky coloured background in there. But it's personal preference. I could stand here all day and give you ways of using them and colour themes and what they're going to fit. But you'll know at home exactly what's going to work with your style of craft. So I'll just turn that over and you can see there. There we go. Can you see there? That's the sort of design you'll get. Think about when you pop your colour through. And then the next one is this one. And this one is called Botanical Stencil. So you can see here two panels again. Really, really different. Just think about this one as a panel on a card on its own. And this one on its own. Nothing else. A sentiment and a panel on a DL card maybe. Absolutely incredible. Christmas card. Add some sparkle. I'm not going to go on. I'll show you on the back. I'll show you on the back. 
So here we go, look, you can see there, it's a lovely, lovely design. So really, really different. I've tried to do a variation. I don't want to just stick to what I love. So then we have shattered glass. So this is quite um, a modern design, isn't it? So you can ink through, put your pen work through there, heat and boss through it. Very, very lovely. I'll show you the design if we turn it over. So I won't be using stencils all the time with the stamps and I won't be using stamps all the time with stencils. It's just going to be what's happening on that day, okay? But we will get through all 10 stamps and show you some techniques and we will get through all 10 stencils. So we have the butterfly stencil, which you can see there. So you could just use half of the design here, couldn't you? Or maybe pop a panel across with some beautiful creeping flowers in a bouquet in a corner. Incredible. Just quick and easy cards. I'll just show you the back of that one. That's a lovely, lovely butterfly on there. So here we have arabesque stencil. This is more like a snowflake, I think. I think you get away with it as a snowflake. Can we see that there? So you can see the design here. More snowflakey. Think about your blues, your teals and your purples for your Christmas cards and things like that. Then you are literally good to go. Yep, Karen is, Karen's the stencil girl, she loves the stencils, so if you need any inspiration, just have a look on the Eureka fan page at Karen's work. There's always a stencil involved somewhere along the line. So we have Sunray, so you will know we did a die in this one, but unfortunately the die never stretched to as big as we can do in a stencil. So you've got a bigger Sunray here, um, and stencils are pretty inexpensive as well, so if you couldn't afford maybe the Sunray die, but I get asked for this one often, so I had to make sure this one was in. So think about doing your sun rays over your, um, your walks, your paths, your doors, behind. You know, absolutely gorgeous. Then we have the leaves. So multi-coloured leaves, autonomous, great, dark to light. What about maybe like blossom colours and things like that. Big circle in the middle with a beautiful sentiment. Some stamped flowers around. So, so. They're really inexpensive as stencils, aren't they? But you can get great looks. I think they're a little bit lost. They're a little bit like embossing folders. You know, they don't get the credit they deserve, really. And then we have this one, which is the forest. And it's probably better if I switch it over and show you. So you get a lovely, like, forest design in the background there. Think about your cat in front of there, your kitten in its boots. The silhouettes over the top in black, so it looks like they're coming over the top. So there we go. Ten stamps, ten stencils. Okay, let me just grab the stamps one second. So you will see they all have the QR code here. So that's going to allow you to go and get that lovely inspiration. So there's the QR code on there on the stamp and here is the QR code here on the stencil. So all you need to do when you get them home is scan them. There isn't any inspiration as of yet, nothing's being loaded on, but as we get through the course of the weeks of the Academy, there will be inspiration loaded on there for you. So always keep your packaging, guys. So does everybody like them so far? Oh, Margaret's burnt her scones. <sighs> Sorry, Margaret. <laughs> scones, I love scones. Love the leaf, Sunny. Um, wow, lots of you on today, lots and lots. So. For those of you who didn't get involved last time, you just need to speak to the lovely ladies and gents on here that got involved last time. We had an incredible time. And then towards the end of the academy, we will be doing um, asking you to send a making of some form again, and we will revisit that fabulous time we had last time. The video is still there for you to go and have a look from all the lovely makes that our lovely friends, family actually, made during the course of Craft Academy and you can see it zooms in and it zooms out and it's just a, a beautiful beautiful collection of handmade cards made from customers at home from their heart letters in there absolutely incredible so let's do it all again shall we no tears this time though and no asking me how big the box is and no bullying me okay okay you promise everybody's they're like absolutely not you're getting it young lady you're gonna come and beat me up i know you are spoilt for choice. I know hopefully there is something there for everybody. So shall I just show you some lovely samples? So hopefully you can see the ones that are around me as well. Um, but let's just quickly fly through some of the lovely samples that I just 
love space to showcase. So we have some of the um, the gowns, obviously mixed in with our earlier ranges. So again, goes back to me telling you, use what you have in your stash. Okay, there are no rules. You do not just have to use stamps by me. We all love lots of brands, so I'm not going to name them. Oh, Tony, why not? Oh my gosh. <laughs> You guys crack me up. I love this one. Absolutely love this one. This is my style of card. So let's just go through some of the lovely designs that have fallen over my do doorstep over the last few days. And hopefully there is something that you absolutely like and the video never goes away. So you can always play the video back if there's a card you want to replicate or, you know, chop up the design a little bit. I'm just going through them. So I'll just keep going and going. The stencil look there in the background. You can just see that watermark stencil there in the background. It's beautiful. You don't need much for these designs. Got silver embossed. Some of the lovely silhouette stamp on there. Hopefully there is something for everyone. So there's the ABC stencil and the lovely cat in the boots. There we go, mixed in with the Soulful collection. So that's one bunch of cards. Let's set that aside. Let's move on to the next. These, these ones that are still wrapped are from our lovely Victoria. I haven't had a chance to open them. So you get a sneak peek the same time as me. I have every confidence they will be fabulous. So this is the girls with, I think that's the Imala books, you know, in the background. And what about um, that silhouette with the lovely um, gilding flakes I'm tipping? Is that one? Absolutely adore that one. You make me smile. And then let's just quickly open these last few and just show you the classic clean white cards that our lovely Be Bave, Be Bold, Be You. These are our fabulous sentiments. You know how... Um, we like to do uplifting sentiments, you know, positive vibes all the time. We do try. It is hard sometimes. I appreciate that. Um, but we do try. And then here we go. So a nice handmade flower in front of the Welly Bobs. But you'll see the lovely designs around me too. I'm just going to grab a few more because I have so many. Sorry, excuse me. And these are the ones that you saw in that quick VT. So I'm going to quickly show you these ones too because I'm not sure if you all managed to catch the beginning of our show. So here we go. Look at that onto blue card. Incredible. Uh, oh, the mannequins. This is with your lovely lamination. <laughs> I love the walk. I love the walk. Friends. There we go. So the daisies sat in the welly bobs. We like the welly bobs, don't we? And that is the lovely Christmas, Christmas walk there that Marilyn's made. So many samples. You can't believe the girls have only had them a couple of days, can you? Lovely Spanish there. That's a very, very arty card. I love that one. And then what about masking the welly bob so you get lots of flowers and then lastly the first one on the video which has got that lovely spray in the background and it's huge that's an eight by eight card so you can see how big that stamp is so there we go these are lovely oh my gosh how are you going to choose how are you going to choose how are you going to get involved if you're wanting to get involved that is you'll have to let me know so shall we do a quick demo? Um, I didn't plan on doing a demo. I just planned to talk today. But with um, the day, date and time today, I wanted to do the lamination poppy. Probably most of you have got it. Um, so you can do this technique straight away. It's just the very basic lamination stamp. I'm just going to create a quick, quick card. So at least you have a little bit of inspiration for today. It's a very important day today. Um, and you can incorporate this lamination technique with all of the lamination. I know a lot of you bought the lamination from our pick of the week a few weeks ago. So I know you've been enjoying them. So it's this one that I'm going to use today. I know a lot of you have got this one. 
can we see that there there we go so it's a beautiful one and we're going to make it arty um, it's quite plain and light coloured on the packaging but we're going to go true red today make it into that lovely card so I have a piece of watercolour card and I have a, my coordinating envelope because I'm going to do the envelope because I am going to give this card to somebody they don't know who it is but this card is going to one of my friends so first of all let's just grab my Eureka So I'm going to do the coordinating envelope as well. So watercolour card. So for those of you who, I know a lot of you come week in, day in, week in, um, things like that. Can't spit my words out now. So I don't want to look like I'm just repeating myself because there are new viewers every single day. So just bear with me if I do sound like, oh, she says this every time. But lamination is the two-part stamp that gives you a realistic watercolour look. So if you're wanting something that maybe you're not capable of doing yourself, it's a little bit beyond your capability, these stamps are going to give you that starting point to create a nice little piece of artwork that you probably will be super proud of. So, so Anne Hodgkins asking, can you pay on instalments? So I believe that on our web, if you spend... Can somebody help me out here? Tim's going to help me out here because it's actually quite new to our website. You have to spend a certain amount, I think, but I'll let you know on that one because it's not something that's done through us, you see. Just one second. So I'm going to grab some colours whilst Tim's helping me out with that. I've got Candied Apple and I could do with, let's have a look what else we've got here. Let's have a go with Abandoned Coral. Okay, so I'm being told there is no amount, you just need to use our PayPal credit. So when you go to the end and you come to the checkout place, there is an area for you there to click uh, instalments. Okay, so you can pick on there. I hope that helps. So I'm going to use the abandoned coral and I'm going to use candied apple. So first of all, I just need to grab my stamp. Now, what have I done with the stamp? That's because of all the talking. There we go. So I'll just show you the stamp here. So let's just show you how it looks out of the packaging here. So we have our lovely solid part and then we have our outline. So I'm going to go traditional red, it's a given today isn't it? So I'm going to use the red part, the solid part as our red part here. So let's just pop this on here like so. So. And what I always do is, before I commit myself to any colour on here, I just make sure that my design is going to be straight. So I just hold the solid portion above. Yeah, that looks about right. But again, if you get it wrong and you don't get it quite lined up, it's not the end of the world. So I'm just going to hold that in place here. Now... Normally we ink the stamp and then we spray the stamp and stamp it out. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to spray the card as well because I really want an artified poppy today. So I'm going to spray my card as well. Okay. So I'm going to let watercolour card just absorb that ink. And then I'm just going to go red on here. And I am going to spray my stamp too because I really want a really good bleed if possible. And then when I stamp it into the pool of water, hopefully it will go beyond the design. Hopefully. Can you see how it's sort of like feathering? The design is feathering out. That's the look I'm wanting. Just wanting to um, get some tissue though and just mop up my puddles or else it'll take a long time to dry. I'm just mopping up those puddles and I'm just going to clean the stamp and then whilst that's doing its piece I'm going to go in again with the colour and I'm just going to stamp it straight on top of this wet card and the great thing about these stamps is you can just keep going keep going and keep going oops don't shake the counter my samples will go all over so you can see how we've just solidified that design a little bit there but I'm just going to 
go in now and I'm going to use the abandoned coral as well just to you know because I can but you can do teals you can do blues I think the blue poppies is is that something to do with the animal side of things blue ones so I'm just going to spray again with some water can we see that there I'm absolutely happy with that one so let's just move our solid part part here pop it back on our carrier sheet so whilst that's a little bit wet I'm just going to take the red and I'm just going to pop some onto my door here I'm just going to grab my brush and some water I'm just going to spray the design here pick up some of that colour from there and I'm going to add some extra splashes just so we can say hey I'm an artist when really I'm not but you know nobody knows I'm happy and I'm literally going to town with that splashing can we see that there so you can change out the colors from the reds to the pinks you can literally do as you please and it's a piece of card guys if it doesn't work and you don't like it you know don't put yourself in any pain just pop it in the bin get a different color try something else so let's just heat set this one everybody's happy purple for animals thank you Amanda so if you think about I mean if you haven't got this stamp you might have a stamp design that will work equally as beautiful I do love a good splash I do So they're not in dyes, unfortunately. I just wanted to keep as last craft academy. The designs, hopefully, uh, you're able to maybe fussy cut. I didn't want to um, bump the price up with the dye. I want it to be an affordable few weeks where everybody can get involved. I hope that's okay. So let's pop our um, outline on. So it's not until you pop your outline on where your artwork actually comes to life. Now, I have used Candid Apple on there, but if I'd have a, had a brighter ink pad, a brighter red, I probably would have gone even redder if I could. But that's the brightest red I own, unfortunately. But um, I would have really gone to town with the red if I could have. So this is where the design comes to life. So you just pop it on here like so. I'm just going to move it over slightly. Now you can do this in your heat embossing, your golds, your reds, your silvers, you can do tone on tone. It is personal preference. Just make sure my door's dry there. I'm just going to use a black ink pad for this one. Stamp that design down. There we have our splashed poppies. Let's just go a little bit darker. And there we have a set of poppies in some wash. What I am going to do though is, I don't know if you can tell from this design here, I've lost the bud sort of element here on here so I'm just going to paint it in and um, that's because I used quite a bit of water so don't be scared to um, paint the design and if you're missing a little bit like me I'm just going to pop a bud in here there we go so let's add our sentiment. So I'm just going to use a sentiment from the exact same set that the stamp set is from because obviously if you want to recreate this card and you have this stamp set, you have everything you need to make this pretty card. 
So I've got beautiful here. I'm just going to go beautiful at the base. And I've got wishes as well on the same set, so I'm going to put beautiful wishes. And hopefully that's perfect. I'm just going to do this one in black. So if you have any of our lamination stamps, try spraying the card and then doing it or try spraying the stamp and then doing it or spraying both, maybe not spraying any and see which results you get and see which you like and which suits you, your style of crafting because you do get different results for all the different ways that you can use the lamination stamps. There we have the beautiful wishes on there. So let's pop this to one side. Let's pop this on our card. So I have a piece of black cardstock. So I always like to mount my work onto some black. It sort of frames the design a little bit. Or some glitter card or something like that. Oh, is my tape pen run out? No. So I'm going to use the tape and I am going to use glue as well. So I know it's going to stay absolutely put. It's not going to come away. So our magazine launches next year. I can't be, I can't be um, certain of the date, but it's definitely next year. It's been a work in progress as our magazine. It's not going to be like your everyday magazine. So that's another exciting.